Uh, and we have just heard uh, the very sad news that Captain Sir Tom Moore has died at the age of 100 after testing positive for COVID-19. That's according to a statement from his daughters, Hannah and Lucy. So Captain Sir Tom Moore, who raised so much money, £33 million, you may remember, for the National Health Service. Uh, he had been uh, taken to hospital on Sunday to uh, Bedford Hospital after being treated for pneumonia for some time and then testing uh, positive for the virus. Let's just bring you a little bit more on that statement and the family of Captain Sir Tom Moore say it is with great sadness that we announce the death of our dear father, Captain uh, Sir Tom Moore. And uh, of course, there'll be huge sadness across the country at that news. He had become really something of a, a national treasure after that extraordinary fundraising effort. Um, let's just read you a bit more of the statement we have in from his uh, daughters, Hannah and Lucy. It is with great sadness that we announce the death of our dear father. We're so grateful that we were with him during the last hours of his life. Um, we spent hours chatting to him, reminiscing about our childhood and our wonderful mother. We shared laughter and tears together. Uh, the statement goes on. The last year of our father's life was nothing short of remarkable. He was rejuvenated and experienced things he had only ever dreamt of. Whilst he had been in so many hearts for just a short time, he was an incredible father and grandfather, and he will stay alive in our hearts forever. Uh, well, let's look back now on the life of Captain Sir Tom uh, with our correspondent, David Silito. It began as a little family challenge, a hundred laps of the garden to mark a hundredth birthday. And so began Tom Moore's extraordinary journey. Born in Keithley in 1920, he joined the West Yorkshire Regiment and served in Burma. After the war, he ran a business, and before the virus, the closest he'd come to fame... And appearing this Christmas on... ...was an appearance on Blankety Blank. Tom, have you got uh, family or anybody you'd rather not be watching this? <laughs> yes, there's two girls. Yes. Coming up 16, coming up 14. But everything changed when his family set up a fundraising page for Captain Tom. The hope was to raise a thousand pounds for NHS charities to support the nurses and doctors in the midst of the coronavirus outbreak. Just over a week later, the total had passed a million pounds. And by the time he celebrated his 100th birthday, it had topped 30 million. Through the wind. He also had a number one single. Through the rain, though your dream a duet with Michael Ball. Captain Tom had become known around the world. He received more than 140,000 cards. The regimental medal. He was made an honorary colonel. He received a knighthood. And the RAF staged a birthday fly past. I'm absolutely delighted with all the people like you who have come to wish me a many happy birthday. It really is absolutely awesome. In a time of illness, death and global lockdown, Captain Tom's optimism and determination truly was a little beacon of good cheer. I never ever anticipate ever in my life anything like this. It really is amazing. And I'm saying to everyone, thank you very much to everyone, wherever you are. David Silito there on the life of Captain Sir Tom Moore, who has very sadly died. Uh, we're just hearing that in the last few minutes at the age 
of 100. And uh, let's just recap on that statement that we've had in from the family um, who were saying that uh, it is with great sadness that they announced the death of their father, Captain Sir Tom Moore. Uh, this is uh, from his daughters. We're so grateful that we were there with him during the last hours of his life. We spent hours chatting to him, reminiscing about our childhood and our wonderful mother, and we shared laughter and tears together. Uh, Hannah, Benji, Georgia, all by his bedside, and Lucy on FaceTime, say the family. The last year of our father's life was nothing short of remarkable. He was uh, rejuvenated and experienced things he'd never really dreamt of. Uh, these are pictures of him doing that incredible fundraising effort, which just... Uh, Grew and grew, didn't it? Uh, raising more than £30 million in the end, more than £32 million, in fact, for the National Health Service. He walked 100 laps of his garden before his 100th birthday. This was all during the first national lockdown back in April. He originally set out to raise £1,000 uh, for his charity challenge, but uh, those efforts uh, really struck such a chord with the whole country uh, and the praise and the donations flooded in. And in the end, he didn't raise a thousand pounds. He raised 32.7 million pounds. He got donations from one and a half million supporters before his fundraising page was finally closed at midnight following his 100th birthday uh, on April the 30th. And he started that challenge a little over Three weeks earlier, he had encouraged people to continue to donate to the NHS charities together. And in acknowledgement to those extraordinary efforts, uh, you'll probably remember he was then knighted by the Queen. Uh, knighted by the Queen during a unique open air ceremony, which was at Windsor Castle in the summer of last year. Now, uh, at the end of the year, he uh, went to Barbados with his family for a well-deserved uh, holiday, but then his family confirmed his illness on Sunday. They said he needed additional help with his uh, breathing, and he was being treated on a ward at Bedford Hospital, but not in intensive care. Um, and after he uh, was in Bedford Hospital, there were, of course, well wishes from many people, including the Prime Minister, uh, Boris Johnson amongst them, who said, uh, my thoughts are very much with Captain Tom Moore. And this was the moment that the Queen knighted him so mem memorably during that unique open-air ceremony at Windsor Castle in beautiful sunshine there, you may remember it, in the summer of last year. And that's when Captain Tom became Captain Sir Tom.